thank God, not pregnant. This, it, this might sound bad. It's so sweet. I'm 21 today and I have videos up on my channel of my 17th birthday extravaganza of just sitting in Katie's living room. That's so weird. Oh my God. I'm 21 years old. I'm 21. I can legally drink and I've already went through alcoholism. <laughs> Gotta blow it out. <sighs> it's just like. <gasps> I'm gonna go take an Epsom salt bath and watch my court videos. I'm 21 today, right now. We're about to go pick up my birthday cake. Red Bull I've had in months. Uh, I just finished my makeup and I don't even, there's literally nothing to do. <laughs> oh yeah, that's weird. I've been filming, I've just been filming things for me and putting them on private on my channel. So my hair is ginger now and we're moving in like two weeks. It took me like a month to get my hair ginger. Um, and my life fell apart in January, but we're not going to talk about that this video. I'm genuinely trying so hard to be in a good mood, but it's really difficult. I will just say that ignorance is bliss and being naive to an awful situation around you is just a piece that I wish I still knew. And... I'm just trying so hard to enjoy it today, and yeah. If you're new to my channel, uh, I turned 21 today. It's March 27th of 2024, and I have an almost two-year-old, but I knew that I would be, I would have a drink today, so I made sure to take a pregnancy test. Not pregnant. Thank God, not pregnant. <laughs> I'm probably only gonna have like one or two drinks today. Um, yeah, but I spent my entire day cleaning yesterday so I wouldn't have to clean today because that's what I have to do every single day. And I said that I'm not cooking today, but I still had to make Ozzy breakfast, obviously. I need to get him a bath and put him down for his nap, but I mean, I've never had anyone watch him so I could go do anything. And I didn't want to do that today either. Like, I didn't want to start that today. I wanted to spend my 21st birthday with him because he's literally the only reason I'm seeing my 21st birthday. If you don't know what that means, go watch my old videos. But yeah, it has taken me since like the end of January to get my hair to ginger. I did this by myself from like two inch blonde, uh, two inch dirty blonde roots with permanent dark brown hair and I think it looks so good. I did a really good job. I straightened my hair last night and I literally curled inward. Like I use I use this round brush that I got from FabFitFun or that Adam's mom got me and I curled inward and it looked like that and then I woke up and my hair is like pointed outward now. It's so cute, but I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I have no idea what to do today. <laughs> um, I must have to go to work at like 6.30. And yeah, we just have nothing planned today. He said he had something planned for my birthday, but then said that it was going to breakfast, which I didn't, like, I don't want to go to breakfast because I'm going to dinner tonight. So I just 
I don't want to do both and like be feel bloated and gross and greasy all day. And then the other was to go to, I must said the name of the hiking trail. I was, we were going to go on a hike to a creek that we like to just sit at and like geode hunt and like look for rocks. Ozzy likes to grab rocks and throw it in the creek. But the last few days have been super warm and in the 60s and today it's not going to get above like 42. So that's wonderful. And it's extremely gloomy outside. The only thing I really look forward to doing today, this is, it, this might sound bad. The only thing I really look forward to today is like after dinner and like after I already had the drinks, come home, put Ozzy to sleep so I can take a nice candlelit Epsom salt bath, watch Alec Murdahl's court videos and have a piece of my cake and maybe like a blunt or another drink. That's what I look forward to. It's like taking a nice hot bath later tonight. <laughs> when I'm back home. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds awful. <laughs> but yeah, I've done nothing yet this morning besides make Ozzy breakfast, like do his diaper, get him a bottle, do all of that. So I need to get him a bath and I brushed his teeth and stuff, brushed mine. And we went and got a cake, came back, did my makeup. That's about it. But I made sure to do everything yesterday because I don't have anyone to do my chores today. So I had to do it for myself. So I don't have to do anything today. I already have my birthday presents from my mom, which she just let me go onto Amazon, which I'm grateful for her even getting me a birthday present because I'm a whole ass mother and I'm an adult. So I'm very grateful that she got me something, but she let me spend money on Amazon. I just ordered a new dining table off of Amazon. It was like $130 and it's a space saver with benches that you can push under the table. So my main birthday gift, which honestly isn't really a birthday gift, but we're kind of broke. So it is a birthday gift. <laughs> it's the biggest gift. It's a gift for a lifetime, but we are moving back to the town that I wanted to live in and it is not cheap and we move in two weeks. So we need to save as much money as possible. We probably should not have even gotten this a $40 birthday cake, but um, yeah, moving to the town that I wanted to move to, it's so much safer than where we live now. I'm going to be able to start going on runs. He got me running shoes, which are just like running and fitness sketchers that have like a platform um, and aren't arched, which I cannot wear arched shoes because my feet are pretty flat. But I know Adam's mom said she's going to give me money as well, but I want to save that and use it for a storage unit. We have to get a storage unit for our broken dining table. That was Adam's grandmother, so we need to get it fixed eventually. So it's just gonna go in a storage unit for now, along with our fridge. And like, we have three air conditioners and just random big bulky stuff that I don't wanna keep in a house that is, we're moving to an apartment. So it's gonna be smaller than this house. It's gonna be this two bedroom house minus like two rooms, which is gonna be so small, but there's a lot more storage and there's a laundry room and I'm excited. The apartment's also in walking distance to a park, like a big open field park with trees. So that's the best, like the best birthday present I could have gotten is being able to give my son like a whole world of opportunity because it's a way better school district than like where we live right now. And he's not even two yet, but we will be able to live there so he can start school at um this much nicer area and he's literally gonna have an entire world more opportunity than he would have gotten here so that's just the best birthday present i could have asked for so yeah my mom and stepdad will come and pick me and ozzy up later but besides that i have no idea what i want to do there's like too much to update on and like way too many horrible things that happened that I don't want to talk about because it's my birthday so I'm not going to but yeah January was horrible and since then I have been to the primary care doctor like twice I mean she's a nurse practitioner but she's my primary care the OBGYN I finally went to the ENT and I'm gonna make a video about that because my septum ring did cause my cartilage to disintegrate like I have a hole 
I can't remember what he called it. I'll put the name for what I have in here. I have to shove antibiotic ointment up my nose twice a day for the next six weeks um, because I had a septum ring that I took out two years ago. But I will make, I'll make a whole video on that. There's just been like, there's just been a lot to happen and the negative kind of overrode the positives in my life and I went to the dentist. I have to get my wisdom teeth removed and I might have to get a root canal which I've been putting off. I should have went and did that like two weeks ago and I've just, I don't want to. Oh my God. I really, I really do not want to go do it. I have had too much caffeine today. I don't know what else has gone on. It's been like two months since I last filmed. Or it's just like 20 private videos that I've been filming about the horrible shit in my life. I also, <laughs> How did I just remember this? I also had someone text me this morning that I have not heard from. Like I was really close with him in high school and we were always just friends. And he just texted me on Snapchat and said, happy birthday, fart vids, question mark, question mark. And I said, thank you. What do you mean? <laughs> and he put the little like pointing up emoji and said, please send me fart vids. So I don't know if someone like hacked his account or if I haven't responded because I don't really know what to say. Like I've not talked to him in years and he's in like a relationship and I hope someone just hacked his account because he never has said stuff like that to me before but he's also a grown man now so I don't know people are weird I should probably stop talking and go do something with my birthday instead of sit in the bathroom I just know Ozzy has to go down for a nap soon I need to give him a bath real quick and make sure he's ready for the day yeah, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I'll be back when I know what is going on or I have something else to say because it might just be a video of me talking because I have nothing to do. It's so sweet. I'm 21 today and I have videos up on my channel of my 17th birthday extravaganza of just sitting in Katie's living room. Oh, that's so weird. Oh my God. I'm 21 years old. I'm 21. I can legally drink and I've already went through alcoholism. <laughs> Keys. Yes, sir. Yes, And now he's putting Ozzy down for his nap. Um, but I had to do the I had to do the dishes because I needed this like sink counter cleared off because I have nowhere to blow out my birthday candles. I just realized that our dining table's broken and I'm not putting the new one together until we move because there's literally no reason to do that. Um, it's gonna come in a box and I'm gonna have to assemble the table so. I'd rather just move the box than an entire table put together. But I have I have nowhere to blow up my birthday candles, so I'm just gonna have to do it right here <laughs> in the kitchen. Sitting back in the kitchen and like listening to the birds chirping outside. Cause I've there's three windows in the kitchen, which I'm not gonna have a single window when like in my kitchen when we move, which is so sad. But there's three windows in here and a back door. So I can just hear the birds chirping and it's so nice. Having peace and quiet and being able to actually like listen to the birds without like animals meowing or like whining or Aussie like pulling at me or crying or like showing me stuff. Just like being in silence is so nice. I never get that. This freaking house is the last place that I wanted to spend my birthday. I hate this house. Happy yeah, do you see the candles? Do you want to help me blow it out? You have to blow up the candles. <gasps> you gotta blow it out. Wow. 
Now we clap and go, yay! Woo! Hey. Now that kind hey. of sounded more like a sheep. Hey. noise ever. Okay, we just got back from dinner. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I want. So, I just got home from dinner. This was my outfit. Just this little... This was from Amazon and this is Old Navy and I thrifted it at a Goodwill. But yeah. This was my outfit. There's my food baby. I had my first legal drink. I actually had two. But my first legal drink was a grapefruit basil, like simple syrup, basil, like homemade fresh basil, simple syrup. Grapefruit and basil vodka drink. And I had them take me, hold on. I had my mom and stepdad take me to like a pub, me and Ozzy, to like a pub restaurant. And it's a restaurant that I've not heard of before. I did not think I would see anyone that I knew there so I could actually enjoy my time. <laughs> and our waiter was one of Adam's friends. Uh, he was so freaking nice. He was one of the people that was at July 4th of 2023 when I had an absolute fucking panic attack. And that's the only time I've ever met him or like seen him. And he was my waiter and he was Adam's friend. And he was so freaking nice. Like there was nothing wrong with, like he didn't do anything wrong. It just gave me a freaking panic attack. And I literally could not enjoy my food. <laughs> Only someone with anxiety would understand that. Like he literally did nothing wrong. He was so sweet. He's never been mean to me. Like I don't know him that well, but because I know him, like it like I could not enjoy my food. It's just like Ah. <gasps> uh. Anyway, I had my first legal drink and it was a grapefruit basil vodka. And I didn't film because I knew our waiter. He didn't say anything to me about like who I was or Adam or Ozzy, but I was still having a panic attack. <laughs> I didn't film before going to the restaurant or at the restaurant. The last clip you guys saw me right after, like Adam started putting Ozzy to bed and then they both fell asleep and they were asleep for two hours and I kind of just sat there and was sad. And I honestly spent most of today alone. <laughs> And we didn't do anything until my parents came. But, oh my god, wait, let me show you the flowers that my parents brought me. Wait. These are the flowers that they brought me. And these are fresh from their garden. And, like, come on now. It's red velvet. I'm gonna get a piece of cake. And then I'm gonna run the bath. I'm gonna take an Epsom salt bath because this is what I've looked forward to doing all day. I'm gonna cut myself a good fucking slice of cake. And I'm gonna go take an Epsom salt bath and watch my court videos. Because that's literally all I've wanted to do all day. Oh my God, that's so good. people on either mine and Adam's side that said happy birthday to me was my mom and brother. My stepdad, obviously. 
but it's literally just my mom and my brother and Adam and that's it and then some of my friends on snapchat and people that I have not talked to in a long time like I had more like guys that I used to be friends with that I haven't talked to in years text me than like friends that I have right now it's very interesting how that works like I'm not mad like I really don't care people have their own lives like my birthday is like so insignificant to other people's lives like I really do not give a fuck I'm an adult I'm not like pitying myself but I was just that was so interesting that was so interesting to me 